President Obama has unveiled his proposal to reduce gun violence in the United States after the Sandy Hook massacre which left 20 primary school children dead. Joining us now from the US Studies Centre is Dr Adam Lockyer. Adam, thanks very much for your time. Take us Thank through you. what Barack Obama's proposals are. Yes, yeah, so he's broken them into two separate categories. The first is, are the uh, executive orders, so the things that Barack Obama can do himself without needing to directly go to Congress. The second category are things that he's uh, appealed to Congress to act upon. So within the American system, what, how this occurs is that um, the Congress are the ones who pass the laws and the, the United States President is the one who executes the laws. So he can still act within existing laws, but he can't create new laws by himself. Okay, so what specifically has to be passed by Congress then? Yes, yeah, so all the new laws, so uh, bans on the assault weapons, um, limitations on the magazines, that all needs to go through Congress. Uh, other things such as directly requiring states to pass up inf information into a uh, centrally feder uh, federal database, that all needs to go through Congress as well. Um, and also uh, greater spending into research on uh, gun control and other aspects like that, or that all needs to go through Congress, but he can still act within the limitations of the existing laws. These are massive changes when you look at the history of America and its relationship with weapons. How likely is it that these dramatic changes will be passed by Congress? If he tries to get them through Congress in one big package, they're unlikely to get through. There's just going to be too much opposition in, in the Senate and also the House, and the gun lobby is extremely powerful in the United States. However, if he tries to break them down into, the, in, into a piecemeal strategy, then he's more likely to get some sort of progress. So things like uh, banning people with some sort of psychological um, problems or people with criminal records, they're the type of, type of things that might most likely get through Congress. However, banning assault weapons, that's going to be an uphill battle. And this comes during a week when the National Rifle Association has launched a new mobile phone game for guns. I'm afraid we have to cut into this now for a news conference by Foreign Minister Bob Carr.